Hello everybody, it's Peter and here once again and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to move anything in Ragnarok Online. So basically I have this NPC here and I want this NPC to come to the left but there are hundreds of files in the server and I need to locate this exact NPC. Well, it's, instead of guessing, we can use the superpower of Notepad Plus. So basically, I can click on the NPC and see some information about it. So there are a few ways we can do this. But what I like to do is to pick a name. So this song, Mu Du name, for example, and add to Notepad Plus. Let's go ahead and open our notepad plus okay so now i'm going to open notepad plus right here i'm going to click ctrl f for the search i have the name right here as you can see and now i need to to navigate to find files okay so in find files i'm going to add my emulator path so basically i am here in the emulator and i will copy this path oh, let's uh, so emulator mpc i'll copy this path and i'm going to insert right here okay and then the npc message say song mudu also in the with the keys here okay now I'm going to search on find all and as you can see he already located to us there are messages with this okay and I'm going to copy this location place at the top here on my folder and it's going to open on on my uh, notepad okay so now i know where the location is as well i could just paste here delete this part and then here it shows that it's here power and pc this is the file okay now i'm going to move him so what i can do is for example i want him to move from here to here Okay, what do I do? I will click here, slash, where, and now I can get the location, 170141, and add into our, uh, into our power and PC TXC. So 170141. Now I click Ctrl S to save return to the game so i can well i can reload npc file so let's let's copy this shoe okay i'll show you something cool instead of reload the whole npc i can go ahead and add reload script file uh, npc file reload npc reload npc file yes now i need the file name so i need npc and i need to invert these brackets here this um these slashes so npc and now the txt okay so like that as you can see, it reloads just, I'll, I'll add over here so you can pay attention better. So reload, npc file, npc, and then the location, and the, which npc it is, is this one, this one. So he reloads only this instead of go ahead and add reload script. Reload script is going to reload everything as you can see. Now it's reloading. Let's, let's have a look. A map server. You can see it's reloading everything, right? 
and once it's done everything is gonna like have a warp effect here we go almost there probably just need to hit enter yeah, that that bugs so the renewal bugs more okay you can see the warp effect right there and that's pretty cool um this was pretty much what i want to teach in this tutorial now we know the power of using here the search engine now if you cannot find by the text i will also actually show you something else so if i go where right and then i can see this 171141 and if i go slash where you can see this 169 so in between this is 170 okay 170 is his location as you can see here 170 141 so what i can do is to search like this the map name and the location let's see if that works it, it might not work because he will search for everything or nothing but let's give it a try if that works okay so now i'm going to hit ctrl f finding files same location and then add this let's see if he searched something and actually it does so you can see if you don't know anything that the mpc is saying you at least can search through the map name and the location All right this was a pretty cool thing to do um all right, so I'm going next to teach you how to remove this in the next episode. Anyways, I appreciate you tuning in and see you.